fuck it, game build a garage, let's do it for a, for a little bit. This was completely unplanned because Shanty shit the bed. So, let's do a little bit of game build a garage to um, cap off the night. I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to in this game because I've been doing some of the lessons on my own time. Like, I've decided not to stream the lessons because I think it's in my best interest if I do the lessons off the stream. So I can learn more, more of the techniques and like do better programming on the stream. So I'll show you how far in I am right now. I did... So on the stream I did Tag Showdown. Since then I've done this ball rolling game. I've done... I finished this one today actually, the Alien Blaster. And this will be my next one which I've not started yet, Risky Run. So here is the Alien Blaster. The fun thing about the Alien Blaster game, actually before I do that. Hang on a second, I need to like reassign my controllers because this controller, I've got the wrong controller connected. Update the title. What are you talking about? Update the title. But yeah, I finished Alien Blaster today. Here's what it looks like. They let you put your own texture on it. Just a floating Kirby face in space. So I know how to make shoot 'em up games now. Oh yeah, update the title of the stream. I should do that actually. Hang on. I'll do that real quick. Game Builder Garage Part 2. Completely, again, completely wasn't planning this just because, you know, Shanty fucking broke. And not only that, that, but I lost like a whole lot of progress for some reason, which I don't understand it, but, um, okay. I wonder if I'm the only person that was affected by that. Like, surely there must have been somebody else that had that issue as well. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm one of the few that actually encountered that glitch. So yeah, in this game, you just shoot aliens, and there's a goal at the end, but if you get all 20 aliens, it will say perfect. So I'll just show you that real quick, just so you can see what it looks like. Also, it's kind of weird just seeing, like, a cannon sticking out of Kirby's face. Oh, the logo, right, sorry, I'm a fucking dumbass. Also, why did I do that? I pressed the wrong button. Professional streamer, don't mind me. Yeah, you can tell I'm completely unprepared for this, like, sudden, you know, sudden change in plans. Because whenever I stream, obviously I like have a schedule. I usually do like two games a night when I stream. And it's like, okay, let's do two to three hours of this one. And it's like, okay, let's do two to three hours of this, you know, the next game. But tonight it's like, let's do two hours of Metroid uh, Zero Mission. And then let's do two hours of uh, Shanty, except, nope, that's like about an hour and a half. And I lost all my progress. There you go. Perfect. Would have been funny if you drew Kirby's hand where the cannon is so it looks like Kirby's holding it. You know, that's actually a really good idea. I kind of want to do that now. Wait, can I? I can edit this, can't I? So I've got my mouse out. Yeah, I can still edit this shit. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I know what's going on. So when you finalise your game, you can no longer edit it, but what you can do is... You can make a copy of it and you can edit that version.
I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say that's what it is. Right, okay then, so... Where is that cylinder? There it is. Right, let's see. So I'm going to change that cylinder for something else. So, objects, box. Right, um, trying to figure out how to do this right. Like, I'm trying to think here, um, try that, I guess. Right, yeah, that, that kind of works, I think. Yeah, right, okay. Objects, special objects, texture. Right, so we'll make a little bit of a modification on my existing one, so let's do this. Uh, let's get some music in here while we're doing this. Uh, last time I did Mario Paint music, but I think we need something a little bit more appropriate considering this is a game maker and not just, you know, drawings. Even though we're in the drawing part of the game, but um, I've got the perfect song in mind. Just uh, looking for it real quick. Almost ready. One moment, please. Trying to turn the, the the video quality down so it doesn't destroy my stream. I think we're good to go here. Almost. Again, I'm very slow at setting this shit up, but here, now we're good to go. Does anyone remember this song? It's not as, remem you know, remembered as the Mario Paint music, but you know, some people will remember the song. This is WarioWare DIY, the graphics set that are music. I'm very bad at drawing hand poses, so this may take a few tries. So we're playing a Nintendo Switch game using a USB mouse. Again, kind of begs the question why Super Mario Maker 2 lacks this feature. But yeah, I loved WarioWare DIY. colours in here. We'll get kind of middle grey, we'll get a slightly darker grey, and I guess a lighter grey. I'm, I'm going to use a few shades of a... Uh, not 50 shades of grey, but we'll use a few shades of grey here just so we can like, you know, give depth to the gun that we're making. I hope I made enough room for this. I don't know. I, th I think I drew the hand too far up. Yeah, I think I may have drew the hand far too far up. Yeah, you know what? We're doing that again. I'm going to draw the gun first, then I'll draw the hand. That way I'll know exactly what it's going to be. Right, so I'll get a rough shape of the gun. I want the gun's, like... You know, the gun's barrel to be pointing in the middle of this, because the bullet will be coming out of the middle of the object, if that makes sense. So it'll come out round about there. 
I really wish they had like a line tool or something in this, it would make things so much easier for me. So this is gonna look shit. <laughs> it won't look that good. But yeah, I spent so many hours in WarioWare DIY when I was younger. In fact, I still have, I think I still have the game with all my old creations on it. I'll see, I'll have to see if I can like find them and find the Wii where you can like export that shit onto. So I can show you guys someday. That could probably be a stream all one to itself actually, if I did that. Something to consider for the future. Don't draw the exact like when I miss the pixel I'm trying to draw. Ah. I don't remember if there's a grid system in this, like if you can make a grid visible so it's easier to like land on the pixel you're trying to draw. I don't think there is. I'm trying my best here. Okay. There's a guide thing in the bottom right corner. Uh, yeah, there is, but I don't see anything pertaining to like pixels. No. I mean, there's this, but not really what I was looking for, sadly. No, there's nothing here. Nothing that will help me in that situation. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is there more here or is that it? it? Hang on. No. I, th I think that's just all of them. I think I just went through every single one. Yeah, I think, I think that's all of them. I thought there was like more there, but no, that's the entire set that we just went through. Okay then, moving on. Starting to take shape a little bit. I don't know why I've got sh three shades. I don't know why I have three shades of grey because I don't know if I'm even going to be using them, truth be told. Yeah, this isn't going to look perfect. This is a whole lot of effort for nothing. kind of look like a hand holding a gun, right? I don't know, I'm not really... Contrary to popular belief, I'm not really an artist, so I don't really know if this is any good. It kind of looks... 
kind of looks like just an abnormal, like, abstract shape. I guess we'll just go with it for now. I'm gonna trim the gun down at the back here. It's a little bit, a little bit too thick for my liking. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> Just have a, a really twisty arm. Try to make it look a bit stupid and cartoony, I don't know, just kind of goofy looking. Uh, let's see, we'll add a little bit of a, a divot there, or I don't know what wall I could use to describe that, like a... Fuck, what's the wall? Like, the wall's on the tip of my tongue. A crease? Yeah, we'll put a crease there. Gonna get rid of that one pixel. Let me, let me do that part again, actually. There we go. That looks a little bit better. It just... It kind of looks like a fucking foot, more than a hand, to be honest. It looks like a random foot, like a random leg sticking out and its foot just grabbing a gun and holding it somehow. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look that good. Again, a line tool would be a godsend for a game like this. Like, imagine a drawing application without a line tool, that's just like, a nightmare. gotten used to, the, like, the last time I played this game on stream, I was kind of complaining about how fast the mouse was compared to what I'm used to on PC. I've gotten used to the mouse speed in this game by this point. That said, it's still a little bit finicky, but I can work with it. Nah. Not very good with details. Nope. I guess that's fine. It doesn't look that good, to be honest. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I was trying to do, like... I don't know, I was trying to make the barrel of the gun have, like, a bit of a... Like diagonal like texture thing going on, I'm just gonna take that out. Yeah, we'll keep that out. We'll keep those lines in. We'll get rid of this. Uh nope. Not that pixel. This one. We'll keep that those lines in. Those kind of work I guess. Right, now for the next part. So we've got the box right here. I think that was the box. Hang on, I think I may have... Oh, it's up there. Right, okay. Gonna, let me put that over there for now.
I don't remember the exact thing here. Like, I'm going to be fiddling with this a little bit. We'll go with that for now. And what was the thing I was going to do next? So, X center, I think that's what I wanted. Trying to remember how I did this. Hang on. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shit show right now while I try to figure this out. How did I do this the last time? Fuck. I don't remember how I did this. Actually, I think I know how now. Let me just uh, cut that. I think I'm supposed to... No. No, that, that should work though, right? Hang on a minute, maybe this is not the right thing. Maybe it's supposed to be X plus. Nope. Oh, wait a minute, right, okay. I see what's going on. I'm also trying to figure out one other thing here. Um, auto? No. Again, it's going to be a bit of a process trying to remember this uh, visible. Ah, uh, here we go, right, okay, so... Sorry, I, I, I forgot how I did this, but I think I remember now, so... I think it's Z+, plus. again, it's just me guessing. Or, wait a minute, no. Z center. I think that might be it. There we go. Now it's facing front. Right, okay, so next step. I have to, like, remember, remember how I did this right. So the box... The, po the gun's pointed at my head. So that's not exactly what I want. I can fix that. Uh, let's see. Um, connection type. No. Connection point. I think this is what I want. I mean, I kind of have it, but not exactly. Bear with me. Again, it's a bit of a process. I'm going to zoom right on this so I know exactly where the click because I keep forgetting where the thing I'm clicking is. God damn it. Don't, don't point the gun at my arse, please. Oh, so why my controls are broken? Hang on a minute, that's not supposed to happen. The left and right sticks are not functioning, and I don't understand why. Unless, hang on a minute, I think I know what's going on. No, that, that should be working. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a problem here. For some reason, the UFO refuses to move. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. Let me try severing that connection for now so I can test that. Yeah, because now it's moving. That makes no sense. Like, because this isn't a solid, so it shouldn't be interfering. Try putting that there for a second. No, you can you can see that's that's not. Uh, hang on. Oh wait, hang on. Did I? Yeah, this is gonna be. I, I don't under understand exactly what I did wrong, but something's wrong here, and I'm not quite sure what I did wrong. I 
again, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't move. Haven't quite figured this one out. I don't expect anyone in chat has like played this game and might know what the problem is. Because I really don't know what it is. Yeah, because I want this to happen. But you know. I want this to be the end result. But I haven't quite figured that out yet, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm gonna try connecting this again. No! Please. I'm so close to getting this working and I don't know what's wrong with it. It's the most frustrating part. What if I... Right, instead of this, um, I'm going to try something different. Let me sever that connection and let me put this on here instead. Will that fix it? Nope, I still can't move. I, d I don't know what's... I, d I don't understand it. Well, that's frustrating. I'm not sure what's stopping it in its place. Oh, wait a minute. I, th I think I know what's going on now. The reason it's not moving is because this is unchecked. Right, so if I connect that again... There we go. Right. Now I just need to figure out how to like position this correctly and we're, we're gravy. Again, it's going to be trial and error figuring this out. Almost. I'm almost there. Not that one. This one, maybe? I think this might be the one. Nope, that ain't the one. Actually, hang on a minute. Right, okay, that's definitely the wrong one. Like... I can't quite grasp this exactly, that's the thing that's like throwing me a little bit. What if I do Z plus, will that work? Almost. Kind of. Not exactly. Z minus, maybe? And maybe Y minus. Almost. We're very close. It's it's kind of like a puzzle game, trying to figure out the exact point of connection. Actually, I think I can fix that. What if? What if I do? if I set this to minus 90? Will that do it? Um, no. I wish there was like a way to preview this without, you know, having to like start up the game every single time. Like have like a, a little preview here or something so I can like get the idea where it's gonna look, what it's gonna look like. Nope, that's not it. Is anyone still in chat right now? Because I've noticed the chat's been a little bit quiet. I'm gonna try Z axis. <gasps> I think I think I'm almost there. Hang on. Wait, is that? Hang on a minute. That. Okay, 
let me let me look at that again. Guns pointing up. What was that pointing up? What previously? Because I don't know. No, it continues point that. Okay, so rotating that doesn't actually do anything for some reason. I don't, I don't understand that. All right. I guess instead of doing it like that, we're just gonna do this again. We're just gonna guess this um, X plus question mark. Nope. God, this is frustrating. Right, so this one I shouldn't touch. It's one of these ones I think is the one I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go through these one by one. So X minus, let's try that. There we go! Almost, I mean, close enough. I'm going to try one more thing, actually. What if I click center? Would that make it more aligns? I mean, that's, that's very close. I mean, you don't see the arm, but you can see him holding the gun now. I don't own a car. I'm pretty sure you've asked that question before. Again, you always ask me very weird questions as opposed to contribute to the chat. Right, well, what I'm going to do then is keep it to that. not perfect, but it works, I guess. I don't know if there's like a way to offset that. It's not weird questions, what the fuck stopped that? Oh, don't gaslight me about that stuff, you've been doing that for a while now. Like, you're the only person in the chat that actually does that, and I'm not sure why. Right, okay then, so... I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I don't think it's gonna get any better than that, so... Yeah, you know what? You know what? That's... You know what? I'll, I'll consider that as as good as it's gonna get. Actually, you know what I could do to make this complete? Check this out. Almost. <laughs> My masterpiece is nearly complete. Just a little fine tuning and we're gravy. I, I can't believe I'm committing to this. Uh, there's the paint bucket. Oh no, wait a minute, paint bucket. You can't, you can't paint bucket with a raise, I don't think. It doesn't work like that. Right, paint bucket, pink. Almost just a teensy bit more pixel adjustment and we're perfect. Right. That should be... Nope, that's a little bit jank. I mean, it's, it's jank in general, but I want it to be a little bit better than that. I'll fix that. Uh, hang on. You know what, that's fine. Right, so I removed that, so let's add a couple more down here. Uh. Right, I think that's it. Right, let's see our masterpiece in action. Yes! Kirby's packing heat! That's what I'm talking about! 
<laughs> yeah, check this out. Where am I? I think I got stuck behind the wall there. Oops. There we go, there he is. <laughs> That's perfect. I should just fucking upload this for this alone. That file's considerably quick for a, for a small gun. Yeah, for some reason when you do the lesson, they don't take that th into consideration. Because a lot of the tutorial stuff is like, okay, let's do this thing. Oh, yay, you did it. But it looks a little bit too, like, weird. Should we fix that? But yeah, when you make your gun, they don't, they're not like, oh, maybe the bullets are firing a bit too fast. Let's dial that, let's dial that back a bit. They don't say that for some reason. Which kind of surprises me during that process, but you can, you know, do whatever afterwards. Like, once you're done with your lesson, you can go back and edit it whenever, so... Right, okay then, so I'm pretty sure the game saves that if I click end. Yeah, there we go. Now, what if I do edit game title? There we go, Kirby Conquers the Galaxy. <laughs> right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to show you guys a couple more things. Uh, let me show you where I am right now with that Nyok Simulator, which I think I renamed to something else. Where is it? Ah yes, here it is. It's still called Nyok Simulator, but here's what I've got right now. So... You can see I've made some changes to it. Don't mind that number over there. That was me testing stuff. So this is what I've got at the moment. Not really sure where to go with this besides this. Like, I'm still tinkering with it. Haven't spent too much time on this. But it seems like it's got a bit more form behind it now. It's not as janky as it was before. Like, I'm not flying in space going to my home planet. Like, that's not happening anymore. That's where it ends. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I got going right now. Oh, so you might have noticed I changed the sprite a little bit, if I can... Ugh. Sorry, double tapping the home button's a little bit tricky. But yeah, you can see I've changed this. I've made minor alterations to the sprite, but if you're wondering where's the original sprite, it's still here. I just need to show you it. Yeah, there's the original sprite. I'm all... I'm like... I'm a, eh. I am all about preservation, so... I like to keep my original work there, if possible. Right, okay then, so... Don't know if I'm going to do any more creations of my own right now, but what I can show you guys is the bunch of stuff that I downloaded since the last time we played this. So earlier today, I downloaded a bunch of stuff in advance. Not that I was planning to stream this today, but it was just for whenever I next stream Game Builder Garage, which I think I was going to do tomorrow. But again, the whole shanty thing forced me to do it tonight. So the first thing we've got here, F0DX. So let's see what this is like. Hold Y to zoom, stick to move. Whoa! Let's try that again. Oh god! The turning sensitivity is very sensitive. It's like it's really high. Oh god. <laughs> it's so hard to control though. It's cool. But holy shit, is it hard to control your turning? You have to like do very finite turns with the, the analog stick. This is cool though. Oh fuck.
The music almost sounds like F Zero. Oh fuck! Like once once you get into that weird like oh Jesus oh fuck! Like you guys should try this. Like it really is hard to like stay in like a straight direction if you like oversteer. Like I'm doing like very very slight turns, and then I get to a corner like that, and my instinct to like turn as hard as possible. I'm going to see if I can complete this track. There we go. Now we're getting it. So yeah, extremely sensitive turning aside. This is actually really fucking cool looking. Yeah, we need a new F-Zero game. Oh shit! Maybe next year we'll get like an F-Zero game announced at E3 or something. Who knows? I mean, we got like a, an Advance Wars game announced, like, you know, the classic Advance Wars games coming to Switch. So never say never. I'm surprised Advance Wars is coming back. Oh, jeez. Oh. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> no! I'll try a couple more times. The music really does sound like F-Zero music. It sounds like a bootleg version of like Big Blue or something. <laughs> oh. Gonna check something. Where's the music? What the hell is that? Oh, is that the 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 ground or something? Is that what that is? Wow, there's there is a lot of effort put behind this. Let me look at the coding. So, I can't edit the code in this, but I can look at it. Music. Rivalry. Constant, constant. Wait, what is this? Oh, I see. So, you can alter the speed as well as the volume. That's interesting. Can't zoom out any more than this, but we can see what the track looks like. So, this is where you start. And then this is the, the track, so you go up there, then it turns that way, and then there, and then there's the right angle that I kept falling off at. Also, trying to grab with the mouse can be a little bit finicky, it's kind of hard to explain. Sometimes I'll click the left mouse button and it doesn't register. Or it feels like it doesn't register. I don't know if I'm clicking in the right place when that happens. But yeah, then you go around there, and then you turn there. I'd probably fall off at that part as well. And then that's the start of the lap again, pretty much around there. But pretty cool. Right, so I'm just going to go through these in order of which I downloaded them. So next up, Kirby's Dreamland 4 1-1. So someone's apparently making a new Kirby game in this. Holy shit. They destroyed Kirby's house. Oh, so I can't? Why did the camera do that? Because now... I mean, I can move down, but I can only press left and right. And when I press right, I move slightly downwards. Oh, there's like 3D movement. I didn't realize that. See, the camera turns around by itself. I didn't realize you could, you know, change the camera yourself in this. Is that an evil waddle do? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I love that the house just fucking blows up. Yeah, what's going on with that waddle do? It's got like a demon eye. It's like when you meet the waddle do at the start of like. You know, Kirby, Kirby 64, or the Waddle Dee that turns into a Waddle Doo. Except that one didn't have a bloodshot eye. So wait a minute, I can't... No, I, I can't, I can't leave these sides. I guess there's invisible walls. 
Oh, come on, hit boxes, really? Wow, that hit box extends really far up. Oh, you can, you can... Wait a minute. How am I doing that exactly? At least I think you can float in my dare. Oh! There's a weapon button. That's how you do it. Shit. What, one second. Kirby, I swear to God. You can only fire one at a time, I think. What the fuck? Oh, I've got an inhale button. I mean, I, I, I could just do this, I guess. Holy shit, look, look, look at all the shit that's going on in the background. Is that zero? Yeah, I think that's zero from Kirby's Dream Land 3. He's back for revenge. Ah, shit! Oh, that is bullshit. I pressed the wrong button. Why even have an inhale button if I can't inhale these things without dying? Basically a suicide button in this game. There we go. Gotta be careful when I'm aiming that thing. There we go. I'm not sure if we actually get to Zero himself. Also, the controls in this are very weird. Like, you're relegated to left and right movements. You have to use the camera to, like, figure out how to, like, move, if that makes sense. So I can't, like, run around in full three dimensions. I'm, like, stuck to left and right. Oh, so there's a... Uh, I guess that's Cappy Town over there. Bringing the war of the, the anime into this. Let me guess, the, an the, the town's going to blow up. Yep, town's getting fucking carpet bombed. Those poor Cappies. The fortune teller predicted this was going to happen. I forgot what the fortune teller's name was. Oh! I just got jibbated. Right, okay then, well, I guess that's the end of the game. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool that they put that together, but obviously work needs to be done on that one. But I, I do give it, an, I give it an A for effort. Alright, let's see what's next. The good thing is, whenever I play like a new game, it puts it to the very top, so that means a little bit easier to find the beginning of the last one, I think, maybe. WarioWare Metroids. So this was one of the 9-volt minigames from the original Game Boy Advance WarioWare. Just mash the B button to win. Kind of appropriate that I'm checking this out, considering I just stopped Metroid Zero Mission tonight. Spoilers for Metroid Zero Mission, I guess. It's not really a spoiler. But it's pretty obvious that you're supposed to take out Mother Brain based on the intro cutscene. Right, let's see, Pinball. Down on right stick to launch, ZL left bumper, ZR right bumper. Alright. There we go. This is... This is kind of cool, actually. Oh. 
surprisingly competent. Boing. I'm not sure if it's the game, but it feels like whenever you flip the ball upward with the flipper, it doesn't feel like you're getting a lot of like oomph behind your shot, you know? Also, what the fuck is that robot doing outside, like that person thing? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, you do get a little bit of a gnome if you line it up just right, I guess. Nope. There we go. I hate it when it, like, kind of falls down the middle and you're just like, Ugh! Boink. There we go. Nice shot. Nice shot! Nice on! Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. Again, it's a little bit like, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to like criticize it too much because it probably took someone a while to make this, but it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Holy shit, that's a lot of programming. Okay, well, yeah, I kind of underestimated the effort that went into this. Very, very good overall, though, I have to say. Right, okay then. Uh, let's see, next game. Again, we're just going to look through, like, this is all the stuff I downloaded today, so this is like the past week's worth of content from people like, you know, being acquainted with this for a week. So yeah, Game Builder Garage hasn't been out for that long, but we've already seen a whole bunch of like good stuff come out of it. Kirby multi-jump demo, what is this? A, B to jump, hold to hover. Oh. <laughs> Kirby turned into a ball. Been. That's, I think that's pretty much all there is to this one, there's not really much to say. Alright. Oh, I see they made textures for it as well, so interesting. Next up, uh... Kirby's Tilt and Tumble 2 demo. So someone took it upon themselves to make a sequel to Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. Which is a fun Game Boy Color game. Right, here you go guys. Here's the long-awaited sequel that we never saw. Yeah, forget about Metroid Dread. This is the real shit right here. I wonder how many Metroid things exist on Game Builder Garage, not counting that WarioWare minigame we just checked out. I could search Metroid and see what we get. I think that's it. I don't think- I think this is where the level just kind of says fuck you. Yeah, it kind of like... Not only does it say fuck you, it just ejects you out of the game. But like, I didn't quit the game, the game quitted me. Uh, Kirby's Quest for Cake. Oh, Kirby's like getting stuck on some stuff here, like I'm trying to move him around. Oh, come on Kirby, you can do it. Get that cake, damn it. Ah! Oh, like you get stuck on the edges very easily, if you can't tell. Oh, come on, what, what kind of hitbox is that? There we go. Up. Oh. There we go. Gotta be very careful. Because I think the, the Waddle D hitboxes extend a little bit further than they look. There we go. Oh. There we go. Yay, Kirby got his cake. And that's the whole game. 
Okay, so this one... So, this is apparently a remake of uh, PT. If you don't know what PT is, it's, co it's also known as Playable Teaser. And this was something that Konami released back on the PlayStation 4, like, years ago. And since then, they've removed it from the store, so even if you download it, you can't even download it again if you, like, delete it. So, what this was supposed to be, it was, like, a first-person, like, sort of a horror thing. And nobody knew what it was supposed to be until you played all the way through, and it was meant to be, like, a teaser for a Silent Hill game, which has since been cancelled. So, thanks for that, Konami. So this is someone's basically attempt at recreating PT. I've never played PT before because, you know, I didn't have PT on my PlayStation 4. I'm expecting spoops. Alright, well it seems like... Like, I haven't really seen much of PT, so I'm not really the expert on this, but if somebody knows what PT... Like, how it plays out and stuff. Eleven fifty-nine. I feel like there's going to be something jumping out at me. Guessing that's meant to be like family portraits or something, and this is like a telephone, I think. You have to use your imagination a bit because of limitations of this software. Oh, Jesus. That actually made me jump there a little bit, not gonna lie. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be like a ghost or something, but I think it was a mermaid in, in this, like, it was like a mermaid asset or something. Yeah, I didn't have a PlayStation 4 at the time. I didn't get mines till years later. I got mines in the Black Friday deal. I got, like, uh, the, the slim PS4. Oh. Alright, we're back here again. I got the slim PS4 that came with uh, Uncharted 4, A Thieves' End. Which I still haven't played to this day, but yeah. So, is this the whole thing? Yeah. Like, I think there's meant to be like a puzzle element around it, like you've got to figure out how to like advance the game, otherwise you loop. But I don't know what the solution is, so I'm not going to even bother trying. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, did this happen in PT? I'm assuming there was like a baby inside a sink? Or a baby doll? I, I don't know. Like, cause I've seen, I haven't seen much of PT itself, but I have seen like the end bit where it shows you the reveal, where it's like Norman Reedus, Norman Reedus, starring in you know Silent Hills, I think it was called, with an S at the end. Can't really do anything with that. But yeah, this is this is ambitious as fuck. Like the fact that they were, like I don't know if this is like the complete PT experience. It might be somewhat like truncated i really couldn't tell you since i haven't played pt but this is really fucking cool for game builder garage i'm guessing this takes me back to the starting point yep i'm back here again this door is still shut what's that Oh, is that the arrow? That's weird how I can see the arrow in the darkness. I'm kind of curious as to how much coding is in this. If you're wondering why I'm being slow, this is the maximum walking speed in this game. Like, it's deliberately slow. Yeah, that just takes me back to the start, so... For, you know, from a distance, that kind of looks like a Nintendo Switch dock. Yeah, it does a little bit, actually. Just stick a Nintendo Switch in there. I 
I don't know if I can interact with anything. I'm going to try. What about the telephone? Trying different buttons. Nah, nothing seems to be happening. Yeah, maybe this is the extent of this recreation. Maybe it's not like one-to-one. -one. I mean, obviously it's not one-to-one, -one, but it's not like the the complete experience. Also a nice toilet. Made of two rectangles and one cylinder. I mean, again, from the distance, it kind of does look like it. You've got to use your imagination a little bit on this one. But yeah, very cool. I like this. Oh, there's nothing out the window. It's just like a texture. Right, okay, then let's see what the coding looks like. Let me zoom that out a little bit. Oh yeah, there's a lot of coding going through here. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool that. I like it. Again, very ambitious. No idea how long it took for them to make that, but they made it. Right, next up. So this one looks pretty good. Sonic 3D Green Hill 2.0. Let's see what this looks like. A, B, jump, Z, L, Z, R, Y, go fast. Time to go fast! Oh. Um. I guess I can't go backwards. Oh, I see. I'm try. <laughs> it's cool, but I'm, I'm having trouble like trying to steer myself around. Right, well, I found a red ring. Thankfully, not a red ring of death. That sounds like Sonic. When I run, I have an easier time steering, but when I'm like close to stopping. It's a little bit hard to steer around, like turn yourself around. It's hard to explain. But yeah, this one's kind of cool. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Sonic Robo Blast 2. What's that? There's something over there. Oh. Hi, Sonic. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, gotta blow up fast and turn into multiple Sonics. Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, c I couldn't unstick myself from that. I was like perma stuck to it. I guess that's what happens when you touch things you shouldn't be touching. Right, so let's try playing the level itself. This is this is actually kind of cool. Again, janky. Like if you put, set the jankiness aside, this is really fucking good. It's like a mix of Sonic Robo Blast and like, you know, the modern 3D Sonics. Or at least it's trying to do that. So I don't know if Nintendo's gonna take down like, you know, fan recreations of stuff in Game Builder Garage. They probably would do that. Like if you tried to make a Mario fan game or something. But this I think will stay out because Sega's pretty cool with like fan games and, sh and, and stuff. You don't really care if you do that. Oh, oh, fuck. Can I? Wait a minute, can I use that spring? Let me turn the rounds. Yep, you can use springs. Sonic, please turn the rounds. Turn the rounds. There. Fuck. Again, it's a little bit harder than it looks. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of cool, this. I like it. Clearly you can tell a lot of work in went into this. Let's look at the programming. Uh, hang on a second. Oops, that's the wrong mouse. That's my PC mouse I'm trying to use. Right, so there is... Wait a minute. Okay, here's the bulk of the... I can't zoom out any further than this for some reason, but yeah, here's the bulk of the programming. All of that connecting to this one part. I guess this is the, like the Sonic Sprite. Yeah, there's like different Sonic Sprites there. So I'm guessing they looked at a Sonic Sprite from some game. I think maybe... 
Sonic Robo Blast and they tried to like recreate it, not pixel for pixel, but they tried to recreate it as best as they could. Which again, A for effort on that. Some more stuff over here. I'm guessing this is like the level design and stuff. Yeah. Right, okay then. Next game. Pretty good. I like that. Minecraft and GBG. In Game Builder Garage. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, shit. Okay, that that's cool. How? How, how? how did someone make this? Who made this? Did Notch make this? That that's cool. I like this one. I need to learn how how shit like this is done. I, apparently, I can change the. Yep, you can change the materials. Oh, that's 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 really. Right, this is one of the most impressive ones I've seen so far. Like, yeah, it's just Minecraft, but when you th consider, like, the limitations of the software at hand, this is really well done. And you can stand on it. It's not like, you know, it's not something you walk through. Like, you can actually, it's a tangible object that you can do stuff with. And it connects to ones on the side as well. Oh, you can just stick them anywhere. Right, that's fine then. Well, that's one limitation, but you know. I'm not going to let that take away from the fact that this is really well done. So we got wood, we got stone. Uh, that's it, actually. Yeah, it's just those two, but that's fucking impressive, that, actually. You know what? Time to build a house. Oh, I made a mistake already. Barely started and I'm already making mistakes. Yep. Hang on. So it's so fucking cool that this, like, someone made this. Really well done. But again, this is just the first week of Game Builder Garage. Imagine what we get, like, a month from now. We'll get Minecraft 3 a month from now. It's a little bit finicky, like, trying to place stuff down, so I'm a, if I'm a bit slow, that's the reason. So, keep that in mind. Please understand. Oh, Jesus. Ugh! That's fine, I can fix it. I think I made the house a little bit flat. Hang on a minute, where's that door going in from? Right, yeah, I, I made the house a little bit janky, but you know what, that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Right, so check this out. Ah. 
Again, it's a little bit finicky. I'm doing the best I can. Yep. I think I may have made the... Hang on. I think I may have made the ceiling a little bit too high. Like, I was trying to do something there, but I can't quite do it properly. Partially just because I'm not really good at, like, Minecraft, but you know. Again, I'm trying. Maybe I need to play that Do Your Best song. Maybe I'll, I'll actually do a good job then. Right, so if I do this now... Oh. Fuck. One sec. Right, that, that works. Plonk. Plonk, plonk, plonk. There. Almost done. Put a couple windows in there. Put a couple windows in that side as well. And there you go. We're done. There you go. Built my very own house in Game Builder Garage. I built my house in Minecraft in Game Builder Garage. On my Nintendo Switch system TM. And you see, you've got the windows and everything. Right, okay then. Let's look at the coding, see how that's done. Well, I say see how that's done, but let's just get a general idea of what's being done here. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of stuff that I don't understand, but I can see the pickaxe sort of thing there. Uh, don't see anything else around. It's like textures. Like, where is the, the wood and stone textures at? Are they in here? Oh, there they are. Right, okay, so there's the wood and stone textures. That's pretty cool. I like that. Very well done. So there's a whole segment here about how the place blocks and stuff. So they've really organized that, their coding out. Very good. I like that. Right, let's see what else we've got here. Super Hot Garage. So I've never played Super Hot, but I know what Super Hot is and how you play it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they've kind of recreated the experience. I really need to stream Super Hot sometime. That would be a fun streaming game. So, for those that don't know what Super Hot is, the idea is whenever you stand still, everything moves super slow. And when you're walking, everything moves at regular speed. So, you've got to like kill all the enemies while avoiding getting killed yourself with those conditions. Oh fuck, I didn't see that guy. Let's try that again. Shit. Didn't realise they could fire their own projectiles. I thought they were trying to punch me, but no, they fire when they do that. Yeah, I think I've got the VR game, Dej. Could always be something I could stream as well. Oh. I haven't really streamed that much. Super hot. Super hot. I haven't really... I haven't really streamed VR in quite some time, now that I think about it. So yeah, not only can you make first-person shooters, you can make super hot clones. Super hot. Super hot. In fact, you know what? Hang on a minute. Super hot sound. Very good. 
to be frank, I would upgrade your CPU before streaming heavy VR games. Well, yeah, it's kind of a shame I can't get a 3080, but I could buy a new CPU as long as they're not, like, being scalped as well. You have to, like, show me which CPU you would recommend me upgrading for the long term, because I did want to upgrade my PC this year. Uh, let's see, so we've done all that. I'm running out of games that I downloaded. Uh, where's the starting point again? Right, here we go. Doom Eternal Garage Teaser 1.1. So not only are they recreating Doom Eternal's like, gameplay with this, but they've done more than one revision because 1.1. Ryzen's a good shout, but you need a new motherboard. Yeah, I could probably, you know, fit the cost of that. I mean, I was going to buy like a yeah, I was going to let her do a complete overhaul of my PC anyway. Also, holy shit. This is... ZR shoot, R to switch weapon, B to dash A the jump. Holy shit, this is good. Also, listen to that music. Fuck. So I can't just... I can't get hit once. Also, is that an explosive barrel? I'm going to wait for them to get closer. Well, they definitely don't hold your hand with this one. <laughs> yep, you can blow that up. Uh, change weapon? What was that again? R? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What is this? The machine gun? The pulse rifle? I, I don't know what this is, but it's still cool. Okay, that was way easier taking them out with that. Okay, this is the machine gun. Fucking Gatling gun. This is so fucking cool, this one. It definitely feels like Doom Eternal. There we go. All the demons have been slain. I'm sorry, mortally challenged have been slain. You know, we've got to keep this thing politically, politically correct. This is a Christian channel after all. Right, okay then, so that was that was pretty impressive actually. That's one of the best ones I've seen so far. Not just from tonight, but just in general. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I keep missing the starting point. On a roll. Wait, is... Yeah, right, on a roll. So, B to jump, L stick movement, ZR to shoot. So this is, I think, like a Grand Theft Auto clone. Because I think you can jump in that car and drive around. But if you're out of the car, you can shoot a gun. Collect the eight cash bundles. Right, so let's see if I can get in the car. Yep. ZR accelerate. B to reverse. Oh, this controls way better than the you know the the car thing that we saw the last time I streamed this. So yeah, it's pretty much Grand Theft Auto Game Builder Garage Edition. How do I get out? Wait, there's a radio? Yep, there's a radio. X to exit. Well, I guess that makes sense. It's got X in the, in the letter. It's got the letter X and the word exit, so X button. Holy shit. Okay, well, you can kill people, you just can't kill this thing over here.
<laughs> I love that scream. Like, listen. Oh, so I'm pretty sure that mermaid thing was what I saw in PT. Like, when I was playing that one. I'm gonna go get my car so I can explore the rest of this area. So yeah, there's like different different cash bundles lying around I need to find. Car's back up here, isn't it? Yeah, there is. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this one. Oh yeah, you have to hold the ZR button. Free. Free donut. Hang on. Yeah, I want a free donut. Oh shit! Oh, that's cool! There's like sub areas. Yeah, I'm taking all your money. <laughs> I'm taking the free donut as well. Well, well, I would take the free donut if the game would let me. Is that Pabon Battlefield? Can I jump in there? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is so cool! I like this one! I was half expecting that not to work, but no, they actually went the extra mile there. That's, that's awesome. You know, it's kind of funny that Bobon Battlefield appears in this because one of the ones that I'm going to be showing next that I downloaded is Bobon Battlefield. So we're going to be seeing that again shortly. I don't know if I'll find all the bundles of money. Like, I've still got like four or five left to find. But I'll spend a couple more minutes in this, see if I can find any more like fun Easter eggs. I wonder. Nope, I thought I could maybe break that box with my gun. Ah, oh, there's one. I need to like drive up there to grab it. Alright. There we go. Loads of money! I think this is something like this animal thing, whatever you want to call it, is from the Labo. Can't kill it though. Do not press. Well, you know what we've got to do then, right? Yeah, you know what has to be done. We're gonna press the fuck out of that button. Oh. Hang on. Right, here we go. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the fuck. I don't think that was the intended result. I don't think that was the intended result at all. Yeah, maybe I should have jumped on that and not tried to run it over with my car. I think I'm stuck out here. I'm in GTA Limbo. Welcome to Boundary Break. I'm your host, she says. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay then. Well, I'm not going to bother getting all the cash, but I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to at least press that button to see what it actually did. Oh. Okay, why, why is the, the accelerator not working now? Okay, there we go. I had to step out and go back in again to fix the acceleration button.
Right, so let's see what happens. I'm guessing that will set this rocket off. There we go. Interesting. Nothing hiding back there. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Nope, doesn't seem like it. I was thinking maybe there would be money behind that thing. Like you had to get rid of it somehow to like grab money, but no, there's nothing. Oh, here it is. I know I said I wasn't going to grab the money, but fuck it, let me see if I can grab the money. The driving controls are fairly solid. Like, it doesn't feel like that F-Zero game where it's like, just a struggle just to stay on the track. I mean, I say the driving controls are good, but it's still a little bit difficult to, like, do certain things. Get out of the car, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It sounds like Patrick Star orgasming. What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god. I mean, I'm kind of glad I came back here just so I could hear that lovely sound effect. So let's get that mouse out of the way. So I'm missing what now? Like six stacks of cash? I think that's all I've got left. Stairs? Oh! D okay then. <laughs> There's one. Right, I'm almost done. Just one more stack of cash. Not sure where it is, though. I see a building in the far off distance there, but I'm not sure that might actually be where the shop is. Like, that might be where it takes me to. Yeah, I'm missing one bundle of cash. I think it might be in the park. Let me check the park again. Maybe if I get rid of the mermaid, it's like under that. <laughs> I love it. Like, this is a game where you cannot record your own voice samples, like the voice samples in this game are like baked into the game, like you can pick them from the, you know, the preset number of like sound effects. So I'm glad that that sound effect is like part of it because that is amazing. Like I remember Super Mario Maker 1, it was possible to record sound effects and put like them into the game. And I remember somebody put, like, the fucking Tim Allen grunt in it. Like, the one that goes, eh? Like, that one.
Any idea where the last stack of cash is? Because I have no clue. Let me go get my car. Oh, that's weird. The, the shooting button is still making that accelerate, even though I wasn't in the car. I wonder if there is one behind this doghouse, like inside the doghouse. I don't, I don't think there is, but I could try. Oh, I can just walk in there. Right, okay. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Nah, I can't find the last one. Unless it's inside the store. Pretty sure it's not back there. I'm gonna check real quick. Oh! Um, hang on. I think that was a troll box. Can I shoot him? Nope. Maybe if I get the ball into the goal, that will give me money, possibly. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. What the fuck is even happening? There we go. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh. So rather than end the game there, it gives me one last reward. What is it? Maybe I have to smash it with my car. Let me get the car real quick. I can't believe how much time I've spent on this one game alone. Kind of a testament to like how good this one is in terms of like content. I mean again it's really short but it's still like more content than most of the games I've seen. Hang on, the car's doing that glitch again. There we go. Sometimes the acceleration doesn't work until you leave and come back in. Uh, I don't know if you can open that actually. Oh. Oh, jeez. Maybe it's just a prop. Maybe it's supposed to be symbolic. Maybe it's just a representation that I'm rich now. Because I got all the monies. That could be what's going on. I don't think you can actually open this. Oh well. Still cool. I like this. Let's look at the programming real quick. So yeah, there's the... There's a lot of programming in there. There's tree textures, there's wall textures, there's like a number of stuff here. This might be the most prog programming I've seen so far, now that I think about it. This, I, I swear to god, this mouse is... It's like I'm trying to click, I think I see why it's doing that, it's like I'm trying to click around. Yeah, right, okay then, so... Pretty, pretty cool. I like this. I'll end the stream once I'm done checking all the stuff I've downloaded. We don't have that many left, I don't think. So I'm just going to go through these real quick. So, apparently the Nintendogs one that I checked out the last time I streamed this got updated. So I'm going to see... Like, you can see the thumbnail for that one is different from this one. So we're going to see what's different exactly, like what's been improved. Right, well the right analog stick is still inverted, so left is right and right is left, which is weird. I think they added some English here. Yeah, there's English now. Call the dog, press the X, and then press Y, B, or A. I can't look down at it though, hang on. I 
Again, controls are bizarre in this game. Change camera viewpoint, ZR. Catch. So the last time I played this, there was no English. Like, it was all in Japanese. So I do appreciate that the person went back and actually added English translations. Catch. Press R or touch the screen. Uh, wait a minute, what do you mean, catch? Uh, not entirely... Wait a minute. Again, controls in this game, even though it's been updated, are still really fucking weird. It's hard to explain it, unless you try it yourself. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Hang on, I'm trying to like... Where's the pointer? There's the pointer. Right, R button did it say? Oh shit! Was this in the last version? Again, it's really hard to explain why it's so difficult to, like, use the gyro in this. That I kinda see how it's working now. Yeah, let's call the doggo back here. I'm holding my controller in a weird angle right now so I can, like, you know, use the gyro properly. That's if I... There we go. I'm hold I'm literally holding my controller off to the side right now, like to the right side of my body. That's what I'm trying to do right now to like actually use this. Stop. Please. Stop. Stop. Ah! There we go. It's really hard to see your line because of how bright the environment is. See, I want to throw... Hang on. I, I want to... See, I want to, like, throw it so hard that the ball, like, goes a million miles per second, but I don't think you can throw it any harder than that. Like, you see how fast I'm, like, moving the gyro and it's still not moving that fast? Nah, I, th I think it's got a cap speed. Right, okay then. Well, I think that's... It's mostly the same as it was the last time, I guess, just minor improvements, but still, still cool. The controls are like really fucking hard to explain, like I can't really articulate why it's so foreign to me. But again, A for effort on that one. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about that, I had to like, quickly go AFK to tend to something. Right, so, let me see, what have I got left? How many stuff do I have here? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I downloaded a lot of stuff. 8, 9. This one was for me, this was like, a template, so this wasn't really a game so much. But yeah, we've got 10 stuff left, I don't know if I want to... You know what, let's go through them real quick, we can do that. Uh, yeah, so Dino, Dino Runner, I think this is like that Google error page thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. So it's just a shitty version of the Google error page. That's basically all it is. It's not even that good, like it doesn't feel doesn't feel that good to play. Alright. But that was underwhelming as fuck. 
after some of the stuff after some of the stuff we've seen tonight, that was not that good. <laughs> Sorry. Toad's quest for Cheerios. Sounds fun. Oh god, it's this music again. <laughs> uh, let me go Oh. I was gonna say let's go to the left, but there's an invisible wall over there. What if Toad dies, what happens? Okay, that actually does sound like Toad's voice. Wait, can you import sound effects in this game? Or is that actually a sound effect in the game itself? Before we look at the rest of this... Oh. Uh, I guess that may be spoilers. Hang on a second. We'll finish the game first and I'll look at that because I want to look at the sound effects real quick. I mean, it's not really spoilers. You know, like We already know what's going to happen. Like The title of the game kind of gives it away, but you know. There's the Cheerio. We found it. It really does sound like Toads. One of those games that just boots you out rather than retry it. Uh, hang on a second. Where is... Not a lot of coding in this one, surprisingly. Where's the sound effects at? I guess they're over here. So, play... Rewards, play, make me, make merry, female voices, right, so it's, I think it's like, included, it's not like something you can record and put in yourself. So I'm guessing that's like a preset, it really does sound like Toad though. Crunch, crunch funny. Play sounds, what's this? Feel funny. Wait a minute. Play. Scream. Female voices. Yeah, so that scream just does sound like Toad. I wonder if it's the same voice actress, actually, that did that. Like, I recently watched a video on YouTube by. Fuck, what was his name called again? Thomas Game Docs about the history of, like, the voice actresses who played Toad throughout the years. Like, he's done a number of, like, documentaries like that for, like, different Nintendo characters and, like, the history of, like, all the different voice actors that played them. And, yeah, the one with Toad was kind of interesting because, honestly, I think the Nintendo 64 Toad was the best-sounding one of the lot. And from that point onward, it just got worse and worse. Like, I really hate the modern Toad voice. It's just, like... What's the best way to describe it? It's like... It's like nails on a chalkboard for me. There's probably like a better, more apt description, but it's... It, it just doesn't sound good in my opinion, like the modern Toad voice. But that's, that's just, you know, that's how I feel. Uh, Neon shot FPS demo. This one might be cool. Oh, this looks kind of nice, actually. ZR to shoot, ZL to aim. Oh, that's cool. You can you can go into iron sight mode. Uh, possible. Like, if you fire too often, possible epilepsy might occur, I guess. I like this. I guess we're playing uh, Blood Dragon then. Or Tron. I like this. What's that say? Oh, end of demo. Oh, those recharge times, right. Like, you might notice after a few shots, I can't shoot anymore. So it's reloading. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. It's simple, but I, I do like the, like, I really like the aesthetic of it. Like, it's pretty good for Game Builder Garage. Trash Bandicoot. Grab 
grab all the Wumpa fruits to win. Oh god, there's 140 of them. Oh, that ain't happening. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I see. Right, I was expecting Wumpa fruits to come out of that, but no, it like, just takes five away from the counter. Don't touch the crates. Also, why can't I spin? Where's the spin attack? You know, the spin that Crash Bandicoot can do? I still got like a hundred left. tried. I'm not doing that again. Bowser's dreams. Eat a fire. <laughs> In walks Mario and I fucking destroy him. Yep, there's Ouija. Ouija is dead. Who's next? It's Toad. They should have had, like, the female screaming voice for that. I guess Bowser doesn't want to kill Peach. Uh, I think it's broken. Maybe I was supposed to kill Peach, like I deliberately not shot her because I thought I wasn't supposed to. But now let's try killing Peach and see what happens. <laughs> this is so silly. Right, well I guess you were supposed to do that anyway because nothing happens after the fact. What if I ignore Mario? What happens then? Right, well there, that, I think that's the whole game. Yeah, seems like that's the whole thing. <laughs> There's the Bowser sprites. You know what? You know what you could do actually in Game Builder Garage. You could make your own WarioWare DIY micro games if you really wanted to. You know what I should do next time I play this? I should look for WarioWare stuff. Someone's had to have made like a WarioWare thing by now, like not counting that one Metroid thing that I shown earlier. I would imagine some people could do, like, WarioWare shit in this. Right, we're almost done here. Just a few more. Uh, let's see. Right, so here's the bob on Battlefield thing I was talking about. Mario 64. I managed to download this before Nintendo deleted it, because you know how Nintendo is. Okay, pressing the R button just exits the game. So it's not a one-to-one -one recreation, like, they've truncated the level somewhat. But yeah, there's the chain jump. There's the big bob on battlefield mountain. There's the pegs. Also, it's weird seeing my, like, disembodied arms, like, coming out. I don't know if I can get up there. I don't think I can. Yeah, this is like extremely truncated compared to how it's supposed to look. But I guess to the untrained eye, yes, this is Bob on Battlefields. 
Let me quickly check. I didn't mean to press the ZR button. Let me check the other buttons real quick, see what else, if anything, I can do. I mean, I can punch. Can I punch the Chain Chomp? Finally get revenge on this fucker. Nope, I, I die if I touch it, even if I'm punching. Right, okay, well that was, that was something. Right, so we have this as well. Bad Womp's Fortress. I guess you can consider this a companion piece of the one we just checked out. Okay, this one looks a lot more like the level it's supposed to be based off of. Like, so we got this part with, like, the bit of water in it. Uh, can't go down there, though. For some reason there, I thought the music was doing a certain thing. Like I thought it was doing like a Star Wars thing. Like it was doing... Like that's what I thought it was going into. Like that part. Like listen. Okay, not that part. But yeah, the part before that, it was kind of sounding like it was going into that. Yeah, I think that's as far as I can get. I want to hear that music again one more time. Right, okay. Next up. Again, almost done here. We only have a few left. Uh, controller, mouse, please. Mouse is not listening to me. I, I can't scroll up. What the fuck? Hang on. Sorry, the mouse was not cooperating there. Neither was the controller. Oh yeah, Beat Saber. So, let's see how this looks in Garage. Detached joy- w w wait a minute. I need to use Joy-Cons for this one. I guess that makes sense. Hang on a second. Let me get... Hang on. I need to move some stuff because I need to grab the Joy-Cons, which are, like, behind me inside the dock. One sec. I will be right with you in a second. I can't. I need to... Fuckers out for a second. I had to, like, reach behind the microphone to grab that. Right, so let's try this then. So apparently you need to use the Joy-Cons for this one. I was using my Pro Controller before. Put it on the surface for a moment. God damn it, please. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's kinda cool though, not gonna lie. Like, I've never played Beat Saber. I'd probably really be bad at it. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of Beat Saber-ish. So wait, why can I even hang on? Why why is that not one not got a, a hitbox on it? The one on the right has a hitbox, but this one doesn't. Right, hang on a minute. Restart. Okay, now they both got hitboxes. Fuck off, phone! I didn't. Piss off! Sorry, my phone thought I said the the thing that triggers it to search, and I, I just... I love it when my phone does that in the middle of the stream, it's good. Right, let me try that again. Sorry, technical difficulties. Right, here we go. That's it, that's, <laughs> that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I like this, actually. Again, I've never played Beat Saber, but I've seen what it looks like. I mean, it's Babby's first ba uh, Beat Saber, but you know what? This is perfect for me. 
Again, first week of Game Build a Garage and people were already doing shit like this. Oh, missed one. I like that. Right, let's put the Joy-Cons back. I think that's the only time I'm going to be using them tonight. In the future, oh shit, I think I accidentally disconnected that there when I was trying to put the Joy-Cons back in one second. Hang on. Having some issues here. Right, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, I accidentally, like, my, my dock's a little bit finicky like that. But yeah, in the future when I download games, I'll have to see if there's like any that you specifically use the Joy-Cons in that fashion, like for motion controls. So that in the future I can like prepare for that. Right, let's see how many are left. Uh, that's it. Like we got this as well, but again this is more like a template that you can use for coding. So I'm gonna not bother with that, that's nothing. Right, okay then, well we checked out every single download, that took me a little while, but we got there. I guess we'll just wrap up by recapping the thing that I did tonight, like that I modified, where is it? Ah, there it is. So yeah, Kirby conquers the galaxy, here it is. <laughs> I just love how silly this looks. This Kirby holding the gun in like this awkward way, this is gonna be in the thumbnail somewhere, I guess. I'll have fun with that later. I'm glad you gave me the idea for this one, uh, Cave. It was worth the effort going through that just to like make this. Perfect. Congratulations, you destroyed the universe. Right, okay then, well that'll do it for Game Builder Garage tonight. Again, I didn't really plan to do this tonight because I wasn't expecting Shanty to shit the bed, but you know. I'm, I'm, I don't regret playing it, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed that, so I'm going to see if I can find more content to like check out next time. And I'll see if I can get further along with my lessons and maybe make something else. Maybe I'll improve that Nyuk Simulator, I'll see how I feel on that one.